in today's video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to play with friends on Minecraft Java Edition. This has been a problem for so many years and there hasn't really been a definitive answer on how to do this easily and for free. Usually you would have to rent out a server or make your own which requires a lot of very technical stuff. But in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way on how to play with friends on Java Edition. This is actually easier in my opinion than like downloading mods or even like texture packs. So just make sure you follow all the way to the end and do exactly what I do and you guys should be perfect. But yeah, we have a full world that we can just play around in. We have achievements, you can get achievements, which is pretty cool. And yeah, just normal Minecraft, but you're able to play on Java Edition with friends. I remember back in the day trying to start up my own Minecraft server and that had a lot to do with like different IP addresses and that was just a total pain. So this is a huge game changer and they actually update this pretty consistently. So if there's any bugs or anything like that, they should uh, get fixed out pretty quickly. You could join their Discord as well if you guys would like to. Another great thing about this launch is that they're keeping up to date with the different Minecraft versions. So 1.19.3 is the latest. So as you can see, if we search up Warden, we have all the Warden uh, stuff. And it's all usable. It all works. Once again, it's just normal 1.19 Minecraft, just with friends on Java. But anyways, let's get right into how you guys could do this for yourself. So the first you guys are going to want to do is go to the first link in the description and you'll see this page right here. Next, if you're not going to add any other mods or Optifine while playing with your friends on Java, you can just go ahead and go to the installers uh, tab and just download Windows, Mac, or Linux right here. And if you are going to be using Fabric or Forge, you could download whatever version you would like to download. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to download the Windows launcher. So once you have it downloaded, you're just going to click on it to run it. And then you'll get a pop-up like this. If the Minecraft launcher is open, just be sure to close it. Once you close it, you're going to press create new profile. Next, you're going to pick all these options. So Forge or Fabric, what version. And then once it says you successfully installed Essential, have fun playing, you're just going to press launch. And then this is actually very easy. It is going to automatically put in the launcher or the version that we just downloaded into the Minecraft launcher. So all you got to do now is press play. Okay, and then once you load up Minecraft, your home screen is actually going to look like this. So we have a lot of new options, but basically I'm just going to be telling you guys how to host the world and how to invite friends. Basically, all you're going to want to do is press single player, and then you're just going to load up a normal world. So uh, in this case, I'm just going to do survival and press create new world. I'm not going to mess around with any other options. This will work, though, if you want to do it in creative or adventure or hardcore or whatever you're trying to do. Okay, and then once we are in, we're going to have to press escape. And then not open to land. We're not opening to land. All you actually have to do is press social. And then right here is one of my friends that I'm able to just send a message actually to, which is pretty cool. Or just invite him if he's online. But basically to add a friend, you're going to press this plus right here. Press add friend. And then you're just going to type in their exact Java name that shows up. Let's say if you're on like a server, whatever their name tag is, you're going to put that in and press add. For this to work, your friend actually has to download this and do the same step and be on the same version. So do it with them so you guys are on the same page. But then once you guys both have this downloaded and set up and you guys have added each other. But basically then all you have to do is press invite. And then it's going to give you this little message. You could press proceed. Then you could pick the basic world setting. So if survival, if you want uh, cheats on, and you're just going to pre press next. And then once again, there's my friend offline. But basically all you would want to do is press invite. It will give them an invite and they'll uh, have to accept it on their end. And they'll be able to join your game. I can see a lot of people having trouble with this, so make sure you leave a comment if you're having any problems. I'll be sure to get back to you. It is kind of difficult in some ways because there's a lot of versions and uh, technical stuff involved. But anyways, now I'm going to show you guys if this actually works. Okay, so my friend's now online, so all I have to do is press escape, go to uh, invite, and then right here we can just press re-invite or invite. In just a few seconds he'll be able to join, there we go. And um, if we just look around, there he is. And there's absolutely no lag, which is pretty crazy. And we could just play normally. And I actually tried running this with mods. And surprisingly, he didn't lag at all. And I didn't either. We could go into creative mode and use cheats if we wanted to. Or we don't have to. But I'm just going to make it day for now. And yeah, there he is. As you can see, we can still hit everything. And uh, he has a little blue name uh, thing by the name tag right there to show that you're using the essential mod. There's also a bunch of super cool settings. So if you go press escape and then go to your settings, there's a bunch of cool things that you could kind of play around with and kind of just make your experience better with this mod, I guess you would call it a launcher. 
Also, you could go to options and then essential settings and then get to this page. But yeah, keybinds might kind of reset or your FOV like mine did, but it's not really a problem in my opinion. Once again, if you have any troubles with this launcher, leave a comment and I will get back to you. But anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoy it and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.